Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. I really like iOS 7. I feel that overall it is a very clean and efficient operating system and for the most part it does everything I want and how I want. But of course it isn't perfect and there are definitely some issues. Now these may be resolved in upcoming versions of iOS, but I don't really want to wait until then. Luckily we finally have a jailbreak at our disposal, so in this video I'm going to be going over some of my favorite tweaks that take iOS 7 and make it even that much better. First on the list is no slow animations. Now in iOS 7 we have these very grand animations, and I actually like them quite a bit. The only real issue is that they are just far too slow. It seems as though Apple forgot to turn off presentation mode or something before shipping iOS 7. No slow animations simply allows you to control these animation speeds so that you no longer have to wait for these sweeping motions to take place. This is a very simple tweak and it's controlled by one slider in the settings app. It's available for free and you can get it in the Big Boss repo. Next up, we have CC settings. In iOS 7, Apple finally announced Control Center, a quick way to access all of your settings. Now this is great, but there are definitely many other settings that I would like to toggle that are simply not available in Control Center. CC settings changes all that and allows you to add many others. You can add things like vibration control, screenshot, reboot and respring, you can toggle your hotspots, and many others. Once you choose the ones that you want to be shown in settings, you just use Control Center like normal. If you have more than five activated, you can swipe from page to page to get to all of them, and it works extremely well and without a hitch. If you want to try this one out, it is available for free in the Big Boss repo. In iOS 7, we still don't have a way to kill all of the apps that are running on our phone. Now for me personally, this really isn't a huge issue, I usually leave everything open anyways, but almost everyone I know is constantly entering the app switcher and closing every app that they have open. There still isn't one easy way to close all of them with one tap, until now. With SwitchSpring, you can now do that and also respring your device. It works pretty much the same way as you would close an app. To activate it, you simply enter the app switcher and swipe to the home screen. Once there, you swipe the home screen up as if you were going to close an app, and once you do that, you will see a message appear asking you if you want to restart the springboard or quit all of your apps. Just hit one of those options and you are good to go. This tweak is very clean and works very well with iOS, very native, and doesn't feel like it's an addition. It feels like it's built in. You can also get this tweak for free in the Big Boss repo iOS 7 was a huge revamp when it came to design. Apple implemented a blurred design element that really allowed you to feel more immersed in the experience you were having. For the most part, this is great, but there are definitely some places where the blur could have been implemented where they aren't. Blurred Music App takes the blurred experience to your music app, and basically it takes the album art of the song you are playing and creates a blurred background over the entire app. This not only goes along with the blurred aesthetic of iOS 7, but I think it looks a lot better than the boring white as well. And if you want to try it out yourself, it's available for free in the Big Boss repo. This next tweak is more specifically for the iPhone 5S, but it is something that can make your experience of using iOS 7 a little bit better. This tweak is called Virtual Home and it utilizes Touch ID. The way Touch ID currently works is that you have to click the home button and then wait for Touch ID to unlock your phone. What Virtual Home does is allow Touch ID to become the home button and allow you to never really physically hit the home button if you don't want to and essentially create a capacitive button. You can do a short hold to act as the home button, a longer hold to act as a double click, and while the phone is locked, you simply place your finger on Touch ID and it opens it up, all without ever physically clicking the home button. This just adds for a little bit quicker control of your device and really makes Touch ID that much more useful. This tweak is available for free in the Big Boss repo. So those are a few tweaks that I think can make iOS 7 much better. Now there are definitely some tweaks out there that I could have included but didn't for one reason or another. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then just let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can see when my new videos are uploaded. Like I said, my name is Matt and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!